Good evening, everyone. Police are searching for two suspects after they allegedly robbed a man while he was trying to make a deposit at the bank. They were driving in a silver Mazda without tags. Our Daniel Ledbetter shares what you need to know before going to the ATM. After a man was robbed at this ATM on Nolensville Pike, security trainers say prevention is better than the cure. And we also offer a host of pistol, rifle classes, women's self-defense classes, and uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu as well. Blaze Lane, the lead trainer at High Caliber, feels preventing a crime before it even happens is key. An ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. Lane also says, don't make yourself an easy target. The self-defense trainers at High Caliber say the three most important things you need to keep in mind before your next trip to the ATM. One, have everything you need in your hand so you're not fumbling through your pockets or your purse. Two, be aware of your surroundings. Three, have a buddy with you or make sure you're on the phone with someone. So that way you kind of have that ready response should something happen. The incident on Nolensville Pike happened around 4 p.m. Lane says this is a good reminder. Don't let the time of day fool you. And people are certainly more aware at night as bad guys like to hide in the shadows, so we're inherently more alert. But during the day, bad guys can still strike, and so what we need to ensure is that we don't let our guard down. Lane adds it's crucial to always trust your gut in these situations. If your gut is telling you to go to the ATM another time, he says go another time. Danielle Ledbetter, WSMB4.